Good afternoon everyone, it's Thomas Arv Kalubovic here again and thank you for joining me on this 18th video of us doing a project utilizing the Autodesk AC collections. Um, what you can see on the screen here is, is one of my plant projects I've been working on. So you can see there's some piping and equipment there. And the whole gist of today's exercise is to have a look at how someone working within the Revit interface is going to link in with the plant interface uh, back and forth. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to close this one down inside Plant 3D. And I'm going to open up Navisworks and I'm going to append that uh, plant project that I've just been working on. So plant 3D models and look for Autodesk files. And basically it's going to bring it in. You can see that we've got our piping and our equipment there. And that's basically what I'm after. So I'm going to save this to my desktop as an NWD and just call it plant piping. So then I'm going to close this down. So now the Revit users through email, through some form of communication, will get notified that that file is ready so they can come under the insert tab and attach that plant file. And you can see it's all lined up and linked in together. And I've done, I've set it up as origin to origin. Maybe you want to use shared coordinates, but this uh, origin to origin suits me fine. So now you can see here that we have our plant file with its equipment and pipe and other bits and pieces in there. So now the Revit users can um, see the plant project. So I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to do the other way. So I'm just going to save this file and I'm going to load up Navisworks. So what we're going to do now is create a NWD of the Revit project so that now the plant users can bring that in. So I'm going to again also append and look for my Revit project under related files and look for Revit So that's just going to load up the whole Revit model. If while we while we let this load, if you are doing the same thing and you only get the analytical model, check in your global options for the file reader for Revit, and you'll see um, get it to load the whole model rather than just uh, the Navisworks portion of it. So now we have our Revit model in here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to save it to my desktop as an NWD. So plant and Revit. And I'm going to close that down and then let's close Revit because we don't need it anymore. And then inside plant, I'm going to load this file up again and we're going to insert and attach our NWD file. 0, 0, scale of 1 and then there you go. So now you can see that the AutoCAD users can link in the Revit file and the Revit users can link in the plant file both using Navisworks. So hopefully this has been a bit of a help to you. Um, keep an eye out next week we might start playing with a little bit of dirt. So we're going to look at setting out a location for this plant project using InfraWorks um, and then following weeks from that we'll have a look at going from InfraWorks to Civil 3D and then even Revit using BIM 360 Docs. So thanks a lot for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you next week.